When it comes to must-have tools for the shop, lineman pliers definitely make the top 10 list. So the question is, are the $72 pliers any better than the ones that cost $13? Today we have a bunch of different brands of tests, so let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which pliers offer the best grip on fasteners. Then we'll see which one cuts through copper wire the easiest. We'll see which pliers make the easiest work of deck screws. Then we'll see if any of the pliers can survive cutting through a socket adapter. At a price of only $13, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Typhon East. All the pliers we'll be testing are between 9 and 9.5 and inches in length. Machine jaws for superior gripping strength. Enhanced strength to withstand everyday use and durability to last for years. We're going to test that. Horizontal indentions inside of jaws designed to easily twist wires. Induction hardy cutting edge that stays sharp. The Typhon East pliers are made in China. The Typhon East pliers weigh 365 grams. Right out of the box, the Typhon East has a small amount of handle wobble. Let's first test the gripping strength of the pliers using this test jig I put together. After I place the socket extension inside the jaws of the pliers, I'll adjust the handle clamp bracket spacing to right at 2 inches. At right at 2 inches, the clamps will apply very close to 100 pounds of squeezing force. I'll be using an electronic torque adapter to measure the gripping strength of the pliers. With around 100 pounds of squeezing force on the handles, the Typhoon East lost grip at 9 inch pounds. At a price of $15, the second least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Irwin. Carbon alloy steel for strength and durability. Induction hardened cutting edge stays sharp. We're going to test that. Machine jaws for maximum gripping strength. We're going to test that too. There's a very small amount of handle wobble with the Irwin. The Irwin pliers are made in China. The Irwin pliers are quite a bit heavier than the Typhon East pliers at 524 grams. The Irwin lost grip at only 6 inch pounds. At a price of $18 is this Doyle brand which is sold at Harbor Freight. High leverage design. Laser hardened cutting edges. Cuts ACSR, screws, nails, and most hardened wire. Aggressive crosshatch grip zone for unrivaled hold. Riveted joint for smooth action with no wobble. The Doyle brand has a small amount of handle wobble. The Doyle brand is made in Taiwan. The Doyle brand weighs 472 grams. The Doyle moves into the lead and finally loses grip at 10 inch pounds. At a price of $21 is this Southwire brand. Fire Edge. 15% easier cuts. Fire induction hardened blades to cut ACSR wire. There's no handle wobble with the Southwire. The Southwire brand is made in China. The Southwire pliers weigh 495 grams. The Southwire did nearly as well as the Doyle at 9 inch pounds. At a price of $22 is this gear wrench pit bull pliers. 35% easier cutting. Longest cut life at 50% longer. Laser hardened cutting edge for longer life. Cut capacity 5 gauge. There's no handle wobble with the gear wrench. Crosshatch jaw tooth designed for gripping and pulling. The gear wrench brand is made in China. The gear wrench pliers weigh 468 grams. The gear wrench really struggled at only 5 inch pounds before losing grip. At a price of $24 is this Dewalt brand. Made of chrome vanadium steel. Induction hardening helps blades stay sharper longer. Crosshatch tooth design provides a better grip. There's no handle wobble with the Dewalt. The Dewalt pliers are made in China. The Dewalt pliers weigh 463 grams. The Dewalt did slightly better than the gear wrench at 6 inch pounds. At a price of $27 is this channel lock brand. XLT technology increases performance and reduces hand fatigue. Forged U.S. steel. Laser heat treated cutting edges last longer. Precision knife and anvil cutting edges for superior performance. There's no handle wobble with the channel locks and they are very smooth. The channel lock brand is made in USA. The channel lock pliers weigh 469 grams. The channel locks performed well at 9 inch pounds before finally losing grip. At a price of $34 is this Milwaukee brand. Maximum leverage. Easier cuts. Lifetime warranty. Forge strength. Machine precision. There's no handle wobble with the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee pliers are made in China. The Milwaukee pliers weigh right at 500 grams. The Milwaukee lost grip at 8 inch pounds, so the Doyle brand holds on to the lead. At a price of $36 is this Ideal brand. Made from custom alloyed premium quality tool steel. High leverage design. Pliers designed to cut hardened wire, bolts, and stainless steel wire. There's no handle wobble with the Ideal. The Ideal brand is made in USA. The Ideal pliers weigh 486 grams. The Ideal brand lost grip at 7 inch pounds. At a price of $42 is this Knipex brand. Cuts hardened steel. High leverage design. Forged construction. 50% less effort compared to conventional combination pliers. There's no wobble with the Knipex. The Knipex brand is made in Germany. The Knipex pliers weigh 455 grams. The Knipex performed better than average at 9 inch pounds before losing grip. At a price of $44 is this Klein Tools brand. Heavy duty cutting knives cut ACSR, screws, nails, and most hardened wire. High leverage design has 46% more cutting power. Induction hardening helps blades stay sharper longer. The Klein Tools brand is made in USA. The Klein Tools pliers weigh 510 grams. And the Klein Tools brand ties the Doyle brand for the lead at 10 inch pounds. At a price of $45 is this Vampire Tools brand. World's best lineman pliers. We're going to test that. Remove stubborn screws. Steel and copper wire cutter. Formidable grip due to vertical serrations. There's no handle wobble with the Vampires. The Vampires are made in Japan. 
The Vampires are very light at only 349 grams. Instead of using a crosshatch design, the Vampires have a horizontal design. 24 inch pounds, very impressive. At a price of $54 is this Wea brand. Crosshatch jaw tooth designed for gripping and pulling. There's no handle wobble with the Wea. The Wea brand is made in Vietnam. The Wea pliers are the second heaviest at 521 grams. The Wea really struggled at only four inch pounds. And the most expensive brand it will be testing at $74 is made by Fujia. High leverage design. And there's no handle wobble with the Fujia brand. The Fujia brand is made in Japan. The Fujia pliers are pretty light at 353 grams. The Fujia brand totally crushes the competition and moves into the lead at 29 inch pounds. Very impressive. So the Fujia brand came out on top at 29 inch pounds, Vampires 24, Doyle and Klein Tools, 10 inch pounds. If tool weight is a deciding factor in your purchasing decision, the Japanese made Vampires are the lightest at 349 grams, but the Fujia brand is nearly as light at 353. The Typhon East brand is also very light at 365, Knipex 455 grams, DeWalt 463, Gear Wrench 468, and Channel Locks 469 grams. Let's see how well the pliers can grip a metal roofing screw from the front of the pliers this time, beginning with the Typhon East brand. And the Typhon East pliers lost grip at 12 inch pounds. Unfortunately, the screw caused quite a bit of wear and tear to the teeth of the pliers. The Irwin brand performed slightly better than the Typhon East brand at 13 inch pounds. It also held up a lot better with only minor wear to the teeth. The Doyle moves into last place behind Typhon East at 10 inch pounds. While the Doyle didn't offer as much grip, it did experience less wear than the Irwin. The South Wire performed better than the Doyle, finally losing grip at 12 inch pounds. Just like the Doyle, it experienced very little wear. The Gear Wrench brand performed the same as the South Wire at 12 inch pounds. The teeth did experience slightly more wear than the Doyle and the Irwin. The Dewalt moves into the lead at 15 inch pounds. However, the Dewalt actually had less wear than the Gear Wrench. The Channel Locks performed very well at 15 inch pounds, making it a two way tie with Dewalt. Just like the Dewalt, the Channel Locks only experienced very minor wear. Just like the Doyle brand, the Milwaukee lost grip at 10 inch pounds. The Milwaukee also experienced a little bit more wear compared to the Dewalt in the Channel Locks. The Ideal Pliers performed better than average, finally losing grip at 13 inch pounds. It experienced about the same amount of wear as the Milwaukee. The Knipex lost grip at 11 inch pounds. However, it did experience a very small amount of wear to the teeth. Just like the Knipex, the Klein Tools lost grip at 11 inch pounds. It also experienced very little wear. The Vampires performed by far the best yet at 20 inch pounds. It also experienced a very small amount of wear. The Wea brand lost grip at 11 inch pounds. The teeth on the Wea showed very little wear. And the horizontal teeth on the Fujia just weren't able to gain a good grip at 11 inch pounds. However, the Fujia brand experienced very little wear. The Vampires claimed to be the best and they came in on top in this round at 20 inch pounds, but the Dewalt and the Channel Locks also performed very well at 15 inch pounds. The Irwin and the Ideal finished at 13 inch pounds. Since Lyman pliers are often used for cutting electrical wire, let's see how they perform on some 14 gauge insulated wire beginning with the Typhon East. Once the pliers are clamped onto the holder, I'll slide the front piece with the two bolts towards the pliers. The two bolts will hold the wire in place against the cutters to allow for maximum leverage. The hydraulic press will be applying a downward force at the very end of the handle. And the Typhon East really struggled to cut through the three strands of copper wire, finally making the cut at 71 pounds of squeezing force. Compared to Typhon East, the Irwin made much easier work of cutting through the wire at 38 pounds. The Doyle brand moves into the lead over Irwin, easily cutting through the wire at 30 pounds. The South Wire performed nearly as well as the Doyle at 31 pounds and moves into second place. The Gear Wrench takes the lead from Doyle, making very easy work at only 26 pounds. The Dewalt performed the same as the Southwire, making the cut at only 31 pounds. And the Channel Locks move into the lead, making the cut at only 25 pounds. Very impressive. The Milwaukee performed very well at 27 pounds, but that's not enough to take the lead from the Channel Locks. The Ideal Pliers just don't offer as much leverage as some of the other brands, and it took 35 pounds to make the cut. And it took 32 pounds for the Knipex Pliers to cut through copper wire. And the Klein Tools performed slightly better than Knipex at 31 pounds, but that's not enough to take the lead. The handles on the Vampires are slightly shorter than most of the other brands, and it took 35 pounds to make the cut. The Wea just doesn't offer as much leverage as some of the other brands, and it took 37 pounds to make the cut. The Vajia handles are slightly shorter than most of the other brands, but it still performed extremely well at only 27 pounds. If you're looking for pliers to make easy cuts through copper wire, the Channel Locks came out on top at 25 pounds, but the Gear Wrench did nearly as well at 26. Milwaukee and Fujia also performed very well at 27 and Doyle 30 pounds. Leverage profile has a huge impact on how much effort it takes to cut through things, and the tool with the shortest distance from the center of the axle or the rivet to the opening of the cutters is the Gear Wrench and Channel Locks brand at 5.7 millimeters. However, the Knipex offers nearly as much leverage at 6.2 millimeters, Southwire 6.9, Milwaukee 7, and DeWalt 7.2 millimeters. Let's see how well the pliers perform at cutting through a 16-penny nail. 
To keep the nail from becoming a projectile once it's cut, I'll attach some locking pliers to the end of the nail. Once again, the Typhon East really struggled to cut through the nail at 161 pounds. The Irwin performed much better than the Typhon East, cutting through the nail at 100 pounds. The Doral did even better than the Irwin, making easy work of the nail at 84 pounds. The Southwire performed nearly the same as the Doral, making the cut at 86 pounds. And the gear wrench takes the lead from the Doral brand by making the cut at 77 pounds. And the Dewalt did even better than the gear wrench, making the cut at only 73 pounds. The channel locks offer an even better leverage advantage compared to the Dewalt, and the channel locks move into the lead at 66 pounds. The Milwaukee brand made easy work of the nail at 84 pounds, the same as the Doral brand. And the Ideal brand moves into fourth position with a very respectable 79 pounds to make the cut. Just like the Channel Locks, the Knipex brand made very easy work of the nail at 69 pounds and moves into second place just behind the Channel Lock brand. Klein Tools made easy work of the nail and moves into fourth place making the cut at 75 pounds. The handles on the Vampires are a little bit shorter than the competition and the Vampires made the cut at 109 pounds. And the Wea brand required more force than average at 90 pounds to make the cut through the nail. And the Fujia brand has slightly shorter handles than average but made the cut at 89 pounds. So the channel locks came in on top at 66 pounds, but the Knipex did nearly as well at 69. Dewalt finished in third place at 73 pounds, Klein Tool 75, and Gear Rent 77 pounds. Many manufacturers claim their pliers will cut through hardened wire and screws. So let's see how they hold up cutting through a deck screw beginning with the Typhon East brand. Unfortunately, the handles on the Typhon East bent during the test and the pliers just weren't able to make the cut. The cutting knives experienced quite a bit of damage. The Irwin pliers did a much better job than the Typhon East cutting through the screw at 151 pounds. There is a small amount of damage to the cutting knives on the Irwin. And the Doyle brand performed far better than the Irwin, making the cut at only 120 pounds. The Doyle brand also experienced less damage to the cutting knives. And the South Wire performed nearly the same as the Irwin at 154 pounds. The cutting knives are still in great condition. And the gear wrench moves into the lead by making the cut at only 116 pounds. There's a small amount of damage to the cutting knives on the gear wrench. And the Dewalt cut through the screw at 129 pounds and moves into third place behind the Doral brand. The cutting knives look nearly as good as new. The Channel Lock brand made very easy work of the screw and moves into the lead at 104 pounds. The cutting knives are still in great shape. The Milwaukee brand performed nearly as well as the Channel Lock brand at 109 pounds. There's a small amount of damage to the cutting knives on the Milwaukee. The Ideal pliers cut through the screw at 132 pounds. There's a small amount of wear to the cutting knives. The Knipex made very easy work of cutting through the screw at 108 pounds and moves into second place behind the Channel Lock's brand. There's a small amount of wear to the cutting knives. The Klein Tools brand cut through the screw at 129 pounds. There's a small amount of wear to the cutting knives. The Van pliers just don't offer as much leverage as most of the other brands and it took 167 pounds to make the cut. The cutting knives on the Van pliers also experienced a little bit more wear than average. The Wea brand cut through the screw at 139 pounds. The cutters experienced a little bit more damage than most of the other brands. And the Fujia brand made the cut at 135 pounds. The cutters still look as good as new. If you're looking for pliers that can make easy work of hard materials, the Channel Locks once again came out on top and the Knipex once again finished in second place. The Milwaukee brand also performed very well at 109 pounds, Gear Wrench 116, and Doral 120 pounds. With limited tool options when making field repairs, sometimes tools get pushed to the point of failure. So let's see if any of the pliers are able to cut through a socket adapter beginning with the Irwin brand. And the Irwin brand can definitely take a lot of abuse, finally breaking at 845 pounds. The body of the pliers broke near the rivet joint. There's a lot of damage to the cutters. And the Harbor Freight Doyle brand made a loud snapping sound before it broke at 581 pounds. And the Doyle pliers broke in the same general location as the Irwin pliers. There's quite a bit of damage to the cutting knives. And the Southwire pliers took just about as much pressure as the Irwin pliers, with one of the jaws finally breaking at 812 pounds. Even though the Southwire experienced a lot more pressure than the Doyle brand, the cutting knives did hold up quite a bit better. The gear wrench just refused to give up, spitting out part of the cutting knife first and finally breaking at 827 pounds. The body of the pliers broke near the rivet joint. There's quite a bit of damage to the cutting knives. And the Dewalt finally gave up at 558 pounds when one of the jaws broke. Just like the south wire, the cutting knives on the Dewalt experienced very little damage. To offer a better leverage profile, the channel locks positioned the rivet very close to the opening for the cutters. The body of the pliers let go at 395 pounds. The amount of damage to the cutting knives seems to be about average. The Milwaukee pliers held on for quite a while before the rivet finally snapped at 613 pounds. The cutting knives in the Milwaukee experienced quite a bit of damage. The Ideal brand went from happy to snappy at 454 pounds, tossing the jaw away from the workpiece. The cutting knives did experience some damage. The Knipex did a great job of reminding me to wear ANSI rated safety glasses as the rivet launched across the room at 522 pounds. The cutting knives in the Knipex experienced some damage. 
The Klein Tools brand made it to 660 pounds before the body of the pliers broke near the rivet joint. The cutting knives experienced about the same amount of damage as the Knipex pliers. And the van pliers refused to give up but finally broke at 851 pounds. Just like many of the other brands, the body of the pliers broke near the rivet joint. There's quite a bit of damage to the cutting knives. The Wea brand gave up at 752 pounds when the jaw began to bend and finally broke. There's quite a bit of damage to the cutting knives. The Fujiya brand is definitely not designed for severe abuse and one of the jaws broke at 368 pounds. However, the cutting knives held up exceptionally well. If you're looking for pliers that can handle the most force before breaking, the Van pliers made it to 851 pounds before breaking. The very affordable Irwin brand performed nearly as well at 845, Gear Wrench 827, and Southwire 812. So which brand performed the best? It was very close between Knipex and the Channelox brand. Both brands performed extremely well. If you're looking for a very affordable pair of pliers, why not go with either the Doyle or the Gear Wrench? Both of those brands are very affordable and perform very well. Finally, I really like the Fujiya brand. It's a very premium brand. It performed very well, but it's also very expensive. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.